everybody, Andy Ma here. Welcome to episode six of The Blueprint, proudly brought to you by our good friends at Hyundai. Joining me as always, Mark McClure and Carlton Director of Coaching and Development, Rob Wiley, has joined us again on the show with a lot to look forward to on Friday night and beyond. Uh, good to see you again, Rob. Thanks well, for coming back. Thanks for having me back. I thought I might have uh, lost the, the gig. No, 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 a lot no, of no. letters. No, a lot no, of letters no, after no. last The insight week's was good. Yeah, we wanted absolutely. the insight. We need to see the insight Pleasure. about the youth yep. and what's coming up with our footy club. So, yeah. uh, a very interesting time we're at. Yeah, no doubt. And, you know, as I said, uh, go, I, I go to all VFL games other yeah. than the clashes, so it's good to see our young kids come on. And good. I think, you know, as I said, uh, I, I see a lot of positive positive stuff there. Gee, we've got a big game this week. Every game's big, but, it's you know... It's just do or die. Yeah, it is. It really well, we is. Think so. Yeah, I mean, St Kilda, and, you know, they've obviously started the season off pretty well. They've yeah. had a couple of uh, hiccups in the last few weeks, but, uh, you know, we expect a, a really tough game like we always have. Monday night's always been a, a pretty tough challenge for Traditionally been a difficult fixture for us, yeah. whether it's of luck or our own doing or whatever it might be, but it shapes as being another one of those. And crucial now, given the rod that we've sort of put on our own back with the early season well, form. It's... That's right, and then going into the bye, we mm. need to... We need to be three, three and five. Mm. Yeah, you know, yeah. we can't. Yeah. You know, can't because you know, as I said, we, we still have great belief that um, good things can happen this mm. year, but they're only going to be happening if we start winning games, and that's why uh, Monday night. Uh, is, is are important. you a good reader of kind of group body language? Have you seen some sort of spike or a reaction from what happened? Yeah. Last Friday against Collingwood. Yeah, look, you know, as I said, over the weeks it's it's been a bit up and down for us, but um, you know, on the training track this week it's been fantastic. The boys have been very positive. Uh, they've trained well again, so you know they've they've rebounded well and they understand the importance. Yeah. The first three quarters was really poor, and then the last quarter they should have cut it a little bit with the eight goal thing. But it just shows you in AFL now if you take your foot off the pedal slightly, doesn't matter how yeah. good your side you are, and Collingwood are a pretty good team. They can drop down pretty quick. And we kicked them quickly too. Very quickly. So, as you know, and another one at a, at a quick time, you know, might have just seen something different. It was a bit like West Coast. Yeah, you exactly. Know? Yeah. And, uh, you know, people said West Coast, you know, they lost that game because they kicked one goal eight in the last quarter. But we kicked five goals very, very quickly, and that's hard to do. Mm. So it was full credit to our boys. What have you noticed as a coaching group, Rob? What, what do they do when they get on these rolls and they can kick goals quickly? You saw that in the games you've just mm. mentioned. And they start to move the ball fluently the way that you clearly want them to move it. What, what do they do differently in these phases of games than maybe they've done in previous games and previous parts of games leading up to this? Kick goals, Andy. Is that it? It's, ball, it's just ball you use, is kick it? goals, yeah. you know, because that, that's the real scoreboard pressure. And that's the, you know, the, the pl players all over the ground. Ben Buckley's been yeah. terrific. It has been. movement of the ball and into the forward line quickly. Well, what do you think? Buckley and Menzel on that West Coast both kick yeah. crucial goals. One to level and one to put us in front. Mm -hmm. so and if you watch this game, the flow of our ball is quick. Yeah. Not yeah. slow. No. And, yeah, and that's been, I reckon, and sometimes it, now kill you here. And sometimes, Sellers, you don't have to play on to move the ball quickly. Yeah. It's just getting back and then hitting your target straight away and then Good. hitting another target. So, you know, we're always constantly at our players to, to believe in the fact that they can make the right decisions, and whether it's a play on with a hand pass or just play on a kick, to back themselves and to keep taking those. those that's an interesting players. player, young Casbolt. Uh, tall, takes six or seven or eight marks a game. So we sometimes we worry about his kicking, but his marking is terrific. He can be a really good asset for us up forward. He's really mobile. Yeah. Sellers, he's got uh, yeah, great endurance. You know, he was one of our top runners over pre-season. So what we've got to convince him to make sure he gets to more and more contests because he has got a good pair of hands. Mm. And as I said, since he's been back in the side, he's been averaging you know eight marks. Um, yes, his kicking has to improve. He knows that, that, and he question. works and he works extremely hard on that. <laughs> it's now becomes you know a mental thing. It's uh, when you crosses that white line in a game, he's got to then just trust himself. Mm. And that, that's important. Well, it's pretty crucial, isn't it? You know, knowing that you're going to get it somewhere near where you want it to go as opposed to dropping yeah. it and hoping that it's going to go somewhere makes a pretty big difference, doesn't yeah. it? But, you know, as I said, there's some good young kids in our, our list, you know, mm. and we keep playing Kaz Bolt and Menzel and Buckley and, you know, Cripps has had a taste, Graham's had a taste. Um, you know, I, I think there's, you know, sort of a lot of positives. Mm. It's good. We just had a look at the fluent ball use and what it looks like when things have been ticking over properly. Last week we talked about how kind of stagnant we looked against Collingwood and in, almost intimidated a bit in this game. I don't know whether that was a That's fact or not. That's kicking to nobody in the middle of nowhere uh, to an opposition. Here's another one. To the middle of the ground, which is a, a bad spot. All of a sudden they're outnumbered by two or three. Uh, it's, 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 
these guys can make decisions, They're, and that's a poor handball, loopy handball high. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they can make the decisions well, but obviously, in sometimes when they're under the pump, it's get it out of my zone so I don't look too bad mm. uh, sometimes. And I think that that occurred a few times last week in the first half. No, no doubt. And, you know, we all know that's risk versus consequence sometimes. Yeah, sure. uh, you know, it's decision making, you know, and I think, you know, that, that one instance where Murphy's gone to handball, yeah. he just had to kick it to the hot spot, Bang, yeah. and we had a one on one there. So, um, look. Full credit to Collingwood. Well, their pressure was outstanding, yeah, yeah. And, and that's why they're probably the form side with with Port Adelaide. But in saying that, we still made it hard on ourselves with poor hand pass. And, and Mick, you know, at each uh, break and number of messages throughout the game sent, "Don't overuse it by by handball. Mm. Let's start to kick the footy and and kick it to our advantage." And um, unfortunately, as I said, it was one of those days where it just didn't click for us. But you know, we we knew what we had to do. We just couldn't execute it. To both of you fellas, Dale Thomas is going to be a big conversation point. Mm. Whether anyone in the club likes it or not, and whether Dale Thomas, when you accept the kind of contract that he did, he's going to be a big talking point. And the two previous weeks to the Collingwood game, I reckon he's really making some significant steps and mm. looked like he's starting to get himself into the flow of AFL footy again. Bit of a step back last Friday night. Where, where do you reckon he's at, Rob, in yeah, terms of his story. game fitness and readiness to be as good as he can be? Uh, Andy, I mean, that's a really good question. And, and yes, you know, we live by the sword, die by the sword. Um, you know, he's come off a pretty serious injury mm. and played very, very little football last year. It, it's about him, as you said, getting back to the rigours and the, the tempo of, of AFL footy. No doubt, Western Bulldogs and West Coast were really happy, and mm. we're very happy with the way Dale was going. He did have a poor game, and now whether that was the he wasn't, hype, he wasn't alone. He wasn't alone, right. but no. whether it was the hype, sometimes you know the build up. You know, he's got great character, and he's he's going to be fantastic for our footy club because he has this character. So, I agree so with you. I you totally know, agree. you've spoken about the, the the history of the Carlton Footy Club and the successes, mm. and and the type of characters that you need, and Dale certainly fits in into that. So not only mm. his ability to, to play good football, but his ability off the field is important. I want to talk to you about that. I think that uh, one of the things that Dale did, he, he didn't actually commission himself to go to Carl. No. Someone chose him. Mm. Someone brought him along, so don't blame Dale. Uh, he's just going to take a little bit more time to get himself into a, into a really good game mode. But you're right about his character. You're right about it, the way mm. he's spirit, the way he plays. No one smothers like that no. if you haven't got that ability to do so. No one tackles like they do. So, look, he's, he's, uh, it's, a, it's a very interesting call, but it's not Dale's fault. Ah, look, and as I said, mm. we're, we're over the moon to get him because we know what value he's going to add to our football club. And as I said previously, we're happy with the way he's going. He did have a shocker on Friday against Collingwood. We're not denying yeah, that. Yeah, we've all had one of them, haven't we? Oh, plenty. Plenty, yeah. Hey, Rob, just some of the kids before we wrap it up. And a lot of Carlton supporters on Talkback Radio and anecdotally at the footy, they want to see... At times when the wins and losses aren't where you want them to be, they say, well, let's get the kids in. Yeah. What if we just went through a couple of the names yep, sure. and just gives a little snapshot as to where you reckon they're at at the moment? Paddy Cripps, where, where, where's he at at the moment? Uh, look, Paddy's just getting used to the tempo of AFL football, uh, the fitness, but you know he's shown that he, he knows how to find the footy. Mm. He's uh, a great leader, great character, so you know he's going to be a huge bonus for the Carlton footy club. Is Nick Graham a bit the same? Is he a bit in the mm. same boat? Yeah, Nick's, uh, you know, Nick's in his second year. He He's playing consistently very good football at, at VFL. Uh, we, we need him to probably have a little bit more impact when he when he gets the football, and he's he's certainly working on that. He, he, I've seen a lot of kids over the over the journey. He's one of the best kids at work ethic and mm. wanting to do it right. Um, so he's had three games now, and and you know he's uh, he certainly probably needs to have more football. Yep. But he, he's a mid a ball getting midfielder. What about the two young defenders, Watson and Bootsma, who were both yep. reasonably high? Well, Watson was a first round pick and Bootsma a second round, I think. Where are they, where are they yeah. at in their development at the moment? Uh, Watson's really improved. Um, you know, there's a lot been made of it, but, you know, he. he Played in our first game, got dropped, and since then he's played really well in the VFL. Um, Rowan and White are keeping him out at the moment mm, because mm. they've actually played some pretty good football. Um, and, you know, I mean, White in the last two weeks. Good. Terrific. Good. He beat Jack Darling and mm. he's beaten um, Jesse White and yeah, both uh, in, in outstanding form. So, but what, Watson, we're, we're really happy. You know, there were certain areas that he needed to work on and he's definitely improving in that area. And, and Bootsman, well, Bootsman's got a lot of talent. He just needs to play consistently. And he, at the moment, he's playing a good quarter and a good half, but he's not doing it for four quarters. Yeah. And that's what we need.
They've got to earn their, 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 yeah. their chance to play. You can't gift games away. Because you have a look at the good clubs, they don't gift one game. No. You've got to earn your right and you've got to maintain it. And that's right, Sellers. And, and you know, the important thing is that we've still got to pick a side each week that mm. we think can win. We'll always go into mm -hmm. every game Absolutely. that we can win. And so it's getting that balance right. And yes, you know, we understand that we've got to continue to develop. That's a really important point. But it's also getting that, that right balance with the experienced players uh, along with those young kids. Robson Kilda on Monday night, then the bye, then Adelaide, then Brisbane. And it goes without saying that this is an important yeah, part yeah. of the season for us. Thanks again for coming on. It's been good to chat some Carlton footy with you, and we wish you all the very best. Thanks, Fantastic. Rachel. Very good open and you. honest. That's yeah. good. That's Absolutely. Rob Wiley joining us. That's all we've got time for today. Thanks for watching. Good luck to the boys on Monday night against St Kilda. We'll see you next time.